We remain steadfast in our commitment in delivering local news that matters, stories that inspire, enriching the lives of Filipinos in the Philippines and across the globe. This is your GMA Regional TV. Buong puso para sa Pilipino. Regional TV Live. Mayong buntag mga kapuso. Welcome sa GMA Regional TV Live. Kumusta ang inyong kabuntagon karon hinaut upside ug piskay kayong panglawas. Ako inyong host, Nico Sereno, my good partner. Mayong buntag partner Nico and mayong buntag sa tanan natong mga kapuso dinhi sa Central ug sa Eastern Visayas na hinaut kami nga magmabulukon ug magmabungahon ang inyong adlaw karong ad Kapa, buta mga kapuso, ako niyo ho, sa Silkwood Castro. Karong buntaga, mga kapuso, kinsa niha ang nagtinguha. Gustong mamahimong sunod ng artista sa Kapuso Network. Mahinabi na ito, usa sa mga talent scouts sa Sparkle sa GMA Artists. Atong sayran, kung saan ang mga qualifications si atong interesado mamahimong artista. Samtang mga kapuso, atong makauban ang usa ka American author nga maghisgot kabahin sa iyahang pagtuon kabahin sa kasaysayan sa South China Sea. Ugatong may ila niya ang waray nga nakadaog sa Mr. Teen International 2022 nga gitaygayon dito sa Bangkok, Thailand. Nasayod ba mo kapuso kung asa nagikan ang bugas o rice? Pipila ka mga archaeologist o botanist nagtuo nga nagikan kini sa China sa tangduna si Uban nagingon nga nagikan puno sa India. Sa panahon nga dihang pipila lang ka mga langyaw sa nagkalilang nasod sa Asia Sama sa mga Chinese ang ni-migrate din sa Pilipinas, ilang gi-introduce ang bugas. Basis sa pagtuon sa mga scientists nga nagsugod ang cultivation sa rice din sa Pilipinas sa Andarayan site sa may Cagayan Valley. Hangtod nga kini ni Kuyanap na sa Tibok Nasod. Gumikan ni ini ang rice o bugas mo na nahimong staple food din sa Pilipinas. Kung tumausab, nagkalain-laing klase na ni ini sama sa brown, red o black. Right. O din nito mga puso, makasaysayanon nga diskusyon kabahin sa South China Sea, makauban nato sa ka-American author Greg Pauling. Aron ipaambit ang iyang kahibaw o ang iyang pagtuon kabahin sa South China Sea, hinabiyon ta karon ang book author o director sa Southeast US Asia Program and Maritime Transparency Initiative sa Center for Strategic and International Studies. We have this morning Mr. Greg Pauling. Mayong buntag Mr. Greg and welcome to GMA Regional TV Live. Kindly greet all our viewers all over Central and Eastern Visayas. Mayong buntag sa CEO and everybody. Thank you so much. Let's start with lighter questions, Mr. Greg. How does your regular day look like these days? Well, it's COVID, so do any of us have a regular day anymore? I, you know, you wake up, you wrestle the kid to get her to daycare, and then I do interviews like this. Right now, I'm actually wearing like a suit, but normally I would have the top half of the suit and like gym shorts on the bottom because you can't see on Zoom. Quite relatable to everybody, indeed. But Sir Greg, what brings you here in Cebu? Is this your first time here in the regions, or do you want? Well, to... so this is my first time since COVID, um, and I'm very happy that my first international flight in over two years was to the Philippines. Congratulations on your new book. Let's talk about Thank this you. one, Sir Greg, on dangerous ground, America's century in the South China Sea. It was stated that the United States has had national interests at stake in the South China Sea for as long as the disputes have existed. Can you elaborate on this? That's right. So the you know the, the popular narrative is that these disputes are relatively new, that they date to the 1960s or 70s because of oil and gas, and that the U.S. interest is only 20 years old or so. It started with the Obama administration, the pivot to Asia. 
But that's not true at all. The U.S. has been involved in the South China Sea dispute since all the way back in the 1907, 1909, when China, at the time, the, the Qing Dynasty and Japan were arguing about the reefs at the very north of the ocean. And throughout all of that time, as the disputes have changed and evolved, the basic U.S. interests have always been the same. Mr. Gregg, what's your main goal in publishing this book? What do you want the Filipinos to understand about this disputed territory? Look, I'm, I wrote this book as an American scholar writing for an American audience. I don't presume to write um, books about Philippine history or Vietnamese history or Chinese history, but there's a lot of Philippine history in there because a lot of the American history in Asia, in particular in the South China Sea, is the history of the U.S. Philippine Alliance and before that, the U.S. colonization of the Philippines. And Mr. Gregg, what are the efforts of the United States to stop China's increased activities in the South China Sea, such as reclaiming the land and strengthening as well of their military force? Well, the U.S. has been in a, a difficult position, just as the Philippines has. One, uh, we were somewhat slow to recognize just how ambitious, I suppose, China's plans were over the last 10 years for the island building campaign and then the use of those islands for harassment of fishing and oil and gas and everything else. So we were slow to respond. And by the time we did respond, China was already significantly dug in in, in the Spratly Islands and the new artificial outposts. The other problem has been a lack of coordination between Washington and, and Manila. And speaking about that, Mr. Gregg, now that the Philippines will have a new administration under President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., where do you see the relations between the Philippines and China should head towards? Well, again, I won't presume to tell the new administration what they should do um, in the relationship with China. I can only speak for what, what I hope they do with the United States. And um, I think it's quite clear to both sides now that the alliance is vital. It needs to evolve. It needs to modernize. It needs to change. This has been a very informative discussion, Mr. Gregg. And to end this interview, your last message, please, to all our viewers. The West Philippine Sea is not lost. For the U.S., the South China Sea is not, not lost. We are losing. China is in far more control of Philippine waters today than it was even six years ago. And if this goes on for another six years, there will be no more Philippine fishing or oil and gas operations or marine scientific research anywhere within its own waters. Time hasn't run out. This should be a call to urgency, not resignation. And Mr. Greg, please share details about your book. Where can we purchase this? Would this be, would this be available online and on the shelves as well? Yeah, well, uh, like I said, it's been delayed. It will be available on Amazon for those who like to read on Kindle on July 1st. Um, and then I think in the U.S. by mid-July and in the Philippines, hopefully by August or September, but I don't have a firm date for the hard copy yet. And congratulations on your book once again, Mr. Greg, and thank you for sharing your expertise on this matter. Thank you so much. Again, salamat. Mga kapuso, tutok lang. Kayo mubalik pa ang GMA Regional TV Live. Kini ang GMA Regional TV Live. Pusa si Albert Katamko sa mga sinaligang talent scout sa Kapuso Network aron nga mao'y mangita og mga new talents para sa Sparkle GMA Artist. Ang iyang kasinatian og eksperto sa pagpangita og mga talents mao'y hinungdan nga usa siya sa mga napili ang mo screen sa mga bagong artist sa GMA Network. Ug sa katong mga nagtinguha nga mamahimong artista o singer atong paminaw ang iyang mga tambag ug mga qualifications aron nga ikaw makasuod sa showbiz industry. Karong buntaga, makisayod kita. Kauban si Albert Katamko, dinilang sa GMA Regional TV Live. Interesado, mamahin mong artista, mga kapuso. Mamahin mong sakop sa sparkle sa GMA artist. Isa may pangita nila karon. Makauban na ito, mahinabi na ito sa talent scout. Ika sa sparkle, Albert Katamko. Mayong buntag, Sir Albert. Welcome sa GMA Regional TV Live. Kumusta ka karong buntaga, Sir? Hi, maayong buntag. So, I'm doing great. Still alive and kicking. Kaayo. So, I'm all good. Ikaw, kamusta? I'm good, sir. Lagsi kay karong buntaga. Thank you for joining us, Sir Albert. Uh, on a lighter note, magsugod sa tag 
o moral ka ng pampagaan. Unsa kuno nakapa-inspire, makapa-inspire nimo kada adlaw sir nga mubangon matag buntag. All right, so makapa-inspire na ako every day to wake up. It's, it's my goal actually. What's what's in unsa ako mga goal daily ba I need to achieve every day. At the same time, also like it keeps me going. Sir, kano sa ka nagsugod isip usa ka talent scout o ngano mang murag na inspire ka nga iperson ni mo ni si Albert? Ah, uh, actually, I've been handling models for 10 years na. Uh -huh. So, 10 years ako ga handle og model big producing artists, models compete nationally. So, I started with Jim A. Sparkle for pagkuan lang uh, March. Actually, they hire me because we're looking for a new regional talent scout. Can you uh, share to us, Sir Albert, imong journey? So, apakan na imong talent scout for Sparkle? So, may imong gikabisihan kanya to. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the handle is to mga models, with models, and artists. So, every time na mga events here in Cebu, ako ga provide og mga uh, mga models sa mga events. Uh, so, mako ni mga challenges, sir, nga ah nga maatubang sa bilang isa ko bisang bilang usa ka talent scout challenges uh, actually pila ka challenge karon kay everything is virtual among good so mm -hmm. like you can't meet that person but like kailangan jud mo mas storya and all like okay, sometimes it's really different sa person o sa virtual so may mga qualification sir nga gipangita ninyo aron makasod sa Sparkle is a GMA artist. So we're looking for like 14 years old up to 28 years old uh, with pleasing personality and kailangan the night talent. Unsa may tanaw ni mo sir sa potential talento sa mga bisaya? Oh actually, I'm so honored that they um, they able to get me. Isa jud ko sa more gakuha nila ba kay I just want to showcase the Buano talent mga good kay I know knowing Cebuano are very competitive, mm -hmm. um, very talented. Um, they 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 always passionate everything what you do in life. Well, you're you're on that, sir. Pag message sa imo asa kanila pwede makontakt on sa imong social media accounts, sir Albert. Okay, um, my social media is my Facebook is Albert Katampo, and then my Instagram is Albert Katampo. Said so. I created a um, new page na Sparkle. Jamie artist Bisaya, so at least ba nans like they can able to you know outlet nga atoras na magstand sa ko or message me anytime. Mm -hmm. Just to close this, <laughs> Sir Albert, unsa minsahi ni mo sa tung mga kapuso nga nagtanaw karong buntaga? So katong mga nananaw karong uh, buntaga, so I just want you, um, I just want to tell everyone na uh, um, if you are interested or if you are willing to be discover mga Cebuano o mga Cebuana, mga singers and mga potential nga mag-artista. Um, this is the right time for you nga uh, to showcase your talent. Um, ipakita na ang imong kaanyag o kagwapo sa para makita na to not just only here but also makita na mo sa big screen sa Sparkle Jamie Artist. And I just want to tell everyone na uh, mayong buntag ka ninyo and be safe lang dyan. All right, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Dekha mig nakatunan. Gigan gini mo karong buntaga makapusa original talent scout sa Sparkle GMA artist Albert Katamko. Dekha ng salamat sir. Thank you sir. Salamat sa kaayos. Balik pa mi kapuso. Tutok lang. Kini ang GMA Regional TV Live. Bitbit ang advokasya kabayan sa mental health awareness sa mga kabatanunan, madasigon nga nakigtigi kining batanon nga lumad nga taga Tacloban City, paingon ngadto sa nasod sa Thailand aron mas ipalanog pa kini. Siya si Von Justice Zabala, 16 anyos, ang nakoronahan isip bagong Mr. Teen International 2022. Pinaagi sa pagsalmot sa Mr. Teen International 2022, tinguha niya nga mas tagaan og bili ang isyu kabahin sa mental health. Ang kadaugan ni Von iyang gihalad ngadto sa iyang mga ginikanan kinsa very supportive kaniya. 
karong buntaga sa iran ta ang yang ipanglaraw sa iyang advokasya ug mas ilailahon ta usab siya dinhilang sa GMA Regional TV Live. Karong buntaga sa spotlight mga kapuso atong abi-abihon ug atong ilailahon kining bag-ong nakoronahan nga Mr. Teen International waray ni siya mga kapuso Von Justice Zabala maupay na aga Von welcome sa GMA Regional TV Live. Welcome back din sa Pilipinas at sa programa. Can you greet all our kapuso this morning? Lalong-lalo na yung mga nasa Tacloban. Um, of course, I would like to greet you a good morning, Sir Nico. And baayong buntag, mga kapuso. And mo pa'y naaga ang mga taka-Tacloban. This is Von the Valle, your Mr. Teen International 2022. The last time we had you sa programa, Von, of course, we wished you good luck sa imong journey and now you're back with the crown and the trophy diha mismo how was your journey so far is it bag-o nga Mr. Teen International 2022 kaya nga um feeling ko kayo kayo talaga yung swerte ko sir, wow. sir Nico um actually sa journey ko doon is not that easy um matutulog kami 2 a.m. gigising kami 5 a.m. to get ready because sa room namin hindi lang kami I'm solo. We have a lot of candidates because we are shared room. Then, um, didn't namin alam when is the call time because mag malayo yung room ng organizer. So to be ready, maaga kami lang gumigising. And during the contest, you've met different mga nationalities. Von, how was it like? Anong mga natutunan mo sa kultura nila? Actually. Um, there halos walang difference naman because almost all of us are from the Asian countries. Though in Thailand, we get to experience eating exotic food like worms. Kumusta naman ang naging reception ng publiko sa advocacy mo? Um, lahat naman kami is may iba-ibang advocacy. But mo most of us are having the mental health and environmental advocacy knowing na Um, mental health issues nowadays are very rampant. Mm -hmm. And dahil sa panahon ngayon ng mga teens, um, I'd like to be part of their journey because most of them are feeling lonely, mm -hmm. feeling alone. Kaya ginawa ko tong advocacy or ginag ko tong advocacy to let them feel that they are never alone. At syempre, Von, sa likod ng pagkapanalo mo, may gusto ka bang pasalamatan? Yes po, of course, I'd like to thank God for giving me a healthy body to complete this pageant. And of course, my family, my dad, my mom, and of course, my supportive uncle, Peter Zabala, and my, um, my ate, my bunso, our bunso beans, and of course, my handler, Ronan Referzo, and to my art mentor, Ian. And of course, I'd like to thank the Kapuso who continue, um, continuously um, supported me throughout my pageant. Um, sa lahat na nag-vote, sa lahat na nag-pray, and of course, sa inyo. And bilang bagong Mr. Teen International, Von, paano mo magagamit ang titulong ito at ang platform na ito para sa mga kabataan? It's not too late to learn new things. They are more doors for you, for your successful journey. And um, failure doesn't mean it's an ending. Failure means it's the beginning of your success. And just to close this, Von, message mo na gustong ipaabot sa ating mga kapuso na nanonood dito sa Central at dyan sa Eastern Visayas. Um, sa mga kapuso na nanonood, thank you, thank you very much for supporting me. And thank you din sa pag, patuloy na pag-suporta sa mga um, sa, sa GMA and of course sa akin because I will never um, get this title kung walang nagsusupport sa akin, kung walang nagbibigay ng motivation. Alright, daghan kayong salamat o congratulations. Thank you. Von, mga kapuso, bagong Mr. Teen International 2022 gikan sa Tacloban City, Von Justice Zabala. Nagang salamat! Thank you! Nakauba na itong karong buntaga, American author na si Greg Pauling. 
nga isaysay sa iyang i-release nga libro kabahin sa mabulukon nga kasaysayan sa South China Sea ug ang kasamtangan na sitwasyon ni ini karon. Samtang na ilaw na kumasab natong talent scout na si Albert Katampo. Isaysay sabi siya kabahin sa potensyal sa mga batan-on nga mga bisaya katong mga gusto mag-artista utay pangita gid nila gikan ini. Og nakauban sab nato batan-on sa mga kapuso waray mon justice sa bala nga karong bag-o gi koronahan nga Mr. Heat International ug na Siren kun sa pay maabot niya nga mga plano. Congratulations sa mga batan ni mi Excel partner sama ni ning Bon atong nahinabi nakapa-impress sa mga judges ni atong maong pageant. Oh, di ba? Makapadasig kaayo. Syempre siya mga kaubang kabataan usab kining iyahan nahimong milestone siyang kinabuhi. Og i-highlight kunya partner no, yang advocacy. Gusto ko no siyang mutabang sa mga batan on nga nagatubang og mga mental health issues. Oh, very timely gayod. Haom kaayo ilabi na ning panahuna. Busa maka puso ani kami ibilin nga pabaon. Alang kanin yung tanan karong buntaga. Kinigi ka ni Sam Altman, usa ka American businessman. Young people willing to push super hard to make something happen are among the most powerful forces in the world. Kapuso, sa mga gusto nga mo-preview, pagbalik nyo mong episode and more, please visit our official website, www.gmaregionaltv.com. Visit sa palihog ang mong official YouTube channel, GMA Regional TV, and please click subscribe. Ikan kayong salamat, mga kapuso. Sa iyong pag-uban ka na mo, karong buntag. Dugang mga kasayuran pa, ang dalit na mo alang ka ninyo, matag buntag, mga kapuso, busa tutuk lang. Dinhi sa inyong kapare sa pamahaw matag-adlaw ang GMA Regional TV Live. That in all things, God may be glorified. Stay strong, stay safe, kapuso. <laughs>